What's up, people? It is getting cold outside. Hence, I had to wear a jacket. <sighs> I've been uh, spending the evening playing uh, some Overwatch with David and Ryan. They've uh, <coughs> Ryan was asking me to do that this week, so I made sure to set aside some time to hang out with my buddies and play some Overwatch. Um, I spent twenty dollars on loot boxes and didn't get shit like abnormally low rates and didn't even get i got one legendary item that was halloween themed out of 27 loot boxes uh and i was mad because it was mostly grays and purple or grays and blues that i was getting occasionally purple and then i looked at all the new halloween gear i got out of the 27 boxes, I literally only got one Halloween-themed item. If you ask me if it's Halloween time and you have Halloween freaking loot boxes, it should be Halloween items in it. Nothing else. Otherwise, you're just wasting my money. And they have plenty of stuff. They don't need to freaking have other items in there. Rant Tuesday. Maybe I should rename my vlogs to, to uh, Josh's rant channel. And just, man, this chair's fucking broken. Ugh. I haven't really done any vlogging this week because I haven't had anything to vlog. But hopefully that will change. Um, come here. Set you guys down. Say hi, guys. Did you leave me? I think they left me. Let's see. What's up? Yes, Josh. Hi. Hi, Josh. Say hi to the vlog. I'm recording the vlog right now. Uh, hello. Hi, vlog. Hello, hello, vlog. <laughs> uh, I'll move to another room since you're apparently doing an interview, I take it? Yep. Wait. I'm not going to leave. You guys are both my friends. I don't care. It don't matter if I hear. All right. So, um, I haven't been doing much in the regards of vlogs over the last few weeks, mostly because I just, I don't, I don't really, I feel like I'm just doing vlogs at this point just to keep it going. Uh, I don't, I don't really have anything that uh, is important to vlog about. That's why I really have just started considering it more of a journal than a blog or vlog because I'm more dictating just what I've done during the week than showing you guys what I'm doing during the week. Uh, that's why no one really wa watches my videos, but whatever. I wish I was popular. I wish people gave a fuck about what it is that I did and wanted to see my life or cared about it, but the reality is that's just not how the world works. <sighs> I have this weekend off, though. I am going to. I am considering buying a uh, stereo. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I am uh, not just a stereo, but like, <laughs> huh? Yeah, well, I'll show you. Yeah, I think my beard's finally starting to grow in a little thicker. I'm going to have to trim it, trim this up, though, and start combing it to make it look good. Why don't you just freaking grow right there, you know? Okay. Let's go ahead and mute this. Mute. All right. So the speakers, I should be able to just flip it. It's supposed to. Whatever. It's supposed to allow me just to flip. Dude, I muted it. What's the... Damn. All right. Since I can't seem to flip the camera, I'll have to do it like this. Uh, I'm thinking about getting this sound system. It's it's really nice. Really big, too. And very powerful. 5,000 watts. Woo! I got a truck coming down. So I'm going to have to get off momentarily and go take care of business. But, uh, 
Man, there's some things I'm frustrated about. My bank, I'm still dealing with the whole icy table fallout. PayPal's going to give me my money back, which is what I'm going to get with this. Uh, that's how I'm going to get that stereo if I decide to go for it. Um, so my bank won't give me my money back. And I feel like I... Let me pause it and deal with this driver, and then I'll t explain myself. And I'm back. So my bank says they won't give me my money back. My money back. Uh, and I'm just upset because that's fifteen hundred dollars right there. Ah, uh, I don't know why my bank won't give me my money back. The company that I made the purchase from from the product said they won't. They won't fight the request for the refund, and they're not. That's why PayPal is giving it back, but they won't pay, but they won't. So if the company that I gave the money to won't fight the refund, why won't my bank give me my money back? Fuck you, bank. I'm sick of being taken advantage of and freaking. Why don't people just do the right fucking thing because it's the right fucking thing to do? If someone wasn't able to get their property that they purchased, we'll give them the fucking money back. It doesn't matter if it was 10 days ago or 5 minutes ago or 5 fucking years ago. If I made a fucking purchase, give me my money back if I didn't get the product. It doesn't matter what the time frame is. Right is right. I'm sick of everyone just bowing over to the freaking higher-ups or other people and just fucking taking it up the fucking ass. I'm sick of people taking advantage of other people so they can get ahead a little bit. So they can just, because they, they just walk all over everybody. This is how, this is the problem with our entire freaking, our, our entire government. Our government takes advantage and manipulates the people, and the people just say, that's the way it is. Voting makes a little difference because it's corrupted. You got people constantly trying to influence it and manipulate it to gain uh, favor in their direction. Or you got people trying to manipulate it and corrupt it so that they can get the person they want voted voted in. The, so they can manipulate the system to get the, the more easily manipulatable politician in the office. Or uh, to get the person who's going to give them the, the laws that they need or the benefits that they need in office. You know, everyone in our government seems to look out for them fucking selves and not looking out for the actual people that they're supposed to be representing. Every single one of them. And you know what? That's what causes all these trickle-down problems with other businesses and other people that take advantage of other people. Because you know what? Joe Schmo over there sees somebody else getting taken advantage of, and he's like, hey, I want a piece of that cake. And he goes over there and fucking joins the crew. Let's start screwing the people small, less fortunate than me. Let's just do something to everybody. And you know what? We all fucking take it. We're all like, well, this is just how it is. And you know what? No, no. It isn't just how it is. The only reason that it's just how it is is because we've all let it become that. We've all allowed it to get so corrupt and so fucked up that we're, it's just the norm. It's the norm. Everyone sees it as having been that way forever now. And you know what? No, man. Fucking serve me. I don't serve you. You serve me. My bank serves me. My government serves me. Blizzard, Amazon, all those fucking people right there. All the people. They serve me. Every company, business, everything serves me. I'm the one that they should be trying to make happy. If my bank doesn't want to give me the money back because it's been after a certain amount of time, I don't fucking care about your reasons. I didn't get my product. You serve me. You're there to protect me. You're there to make sure that I'm taken care of. That's what you get paid for. That's what you're supposed to be getting paid for. You're not supposed to be getting paid. So and you're not supposed to be getting paid to find out how you can screw other people more. That's how it is, though. You're supposed to be getting paid to provide a service. You're not supposed to be getting paid to figure out how to fuck other people. And I am sick of that in this fucking country.
Like I said, it's a rant video. This fucking country is a great country, okay? But you know what? The more people stand by and say that uh, that's just how it is, or the more people say, you know, what can you do about it? You know, I can understand why people are freaking uh, are at a loss. You know what? Because you feel so fucking helpless that ain't that you can't do anything. Voting rarely makes any sort of change that is meaningful in a positive fucking way. When's the last time? When's the last time you felt like your vote truly counted towards something? When we got pot legalized in a couple states? Uh, when you get some sort of tax reform passed that doesn't end up staying passed because, you know what? They repeal it. The people that represent us. They repeal it, or whatever it's fucking called. They fight it and take it away, and instead, what you get in place is, is a freaking, you know what? What you get are these laws that do get passed that seem like they're a benefit to us. Well, what do we find out down the road? There's some sort of loophole hidden inside of the freaking law, or some sort of wording inside the law that has nothing to do with that law, but makes it so that something else that they want to do that would be illegal is now legal because it's hidden inside this new law. <sighs> I'm done. If this country wants to keep fucking itself, whatever, dude. Y'all are just fucking taking it. And it, over time, if this country's going to fall. Maybe not today, maybe not five, ten years from now, but given time, this country is going to turn into the kind of country you see in all these freaking futuristic sci-fi movies and shit, where it's a fucking poor-ass country where 95% of the people are living homeless or freaking broke or and can barely feed themselves and, and get the medication they need, and people, it's just a poverty country. And that's what's going to happen. Because the 1%, they're seriously going to become the 1%. <clears throat> it is going to turn into more of a 1, oh no, a 0.1% rather than a 1%. Eventually, it's going to become that so much of our population is run down that it's going to be not even a, pers a 1%. It's going to be less of that uh, that are actually able to afford and live up happily. The country doesn't fucking care. The government doesn't care. The people care, but they don't know what to do. They either don't know what to do, they're in denial, or they've given up. Bye.